What is up guys, Coach Technique here and breaking news, Kibu out. That's what the board of Corona Blasters said and they told him yesterday apparently and Kibu is gone, not able to take Corona Blasters out of the bottom, they're bottom two at the moment and I think that is a good decision. So I did a poll, I did two polls, one when you were playing 4 free free and it was 80 something percent Kibu in that shows a fan base that was very patient and that's good we all need fans to be patient we there should be more of this happening but then I did one the other day when you guys are still near bottom second from bottom in an 11 league the 11 teams in the league and to be to be honest that's not good Kibu is one of those ideal it seems like he's an ideological coach where he wants his philosophies to be, like it's more important that his philosophies are, are, are out there on the pitch and are produced than, than winning. And all I'm saying is, if you don't understand what this means, he wants to play well at all costs. And playing well means easy on the eye, like Arsenal, like Barcelona, or Arsenal of old, like Barcelona. And um, the, the tricky thing is you need very good players to sustain that for 90 minutes. You need very good players to sustain that in a season and you need the whole team understanding what to do at all times and it's very hard to do that when you have average players and I'm not saying that they're not good players but you know obviously they're not world-class players to play a very um, uh, attacking style you definitely need players that are very 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 good and it's hard to do it with average players what's easier to do with average players is what Robbie Fowler did with SC East Bengal start from a base, base, able to pluck away results, pluck away some draws, some wins, and to be close. Obviously, they're not close, but from where they came from another league that's not even in the same universe as the ISL, in my opinion, that, you know, yes, they have strong fan base, you know, I-League and stuff like that, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the quality, what they produce, where those players go, what they can do. Um, it's nowhere near what ISL um, um, players uh, produce a day in, day out. And Kibu realised this, I think, too late. He seems like a stubborn coach. And nothing wrong with that. All coaches are pretty stubborn. But what's scary about it is like the, the wanting to play well and not caring about the win. For instance, when you're 2-0 up, you just have to change your style. Unless you're like the best teams in the world who have players who understand what to do and don't get tired as as much as everybody else and can conserve the energy. You, he, to be honest, there was, a, there was a game where you were you needed to put people on and I didn't see any, any substitutions. Stuff like this. It's like his ideas are way more important than the facts right in front of him. And I know there's personal stuff and that's very hard, but the board have fired him and, and that's the reality of the situation. And I want to say to everybody that this is the reality of the world. It was reality of football. If you bring people in and they don't win and they come second from bottom, you can't support them. 80%, like, people are out of their minds. That's the truth. This is what I think. What are you supporting somebody? Like, anybody in my subscription base on YouTube could have brought that team and finished second from bottom. Anybody. He hasn't done, he hasn't basically improved it. What he's done is he's made your team play like a pretty style football against you know in, in in moments they should have they should have won the first game with it with atk mb it looks like he's working on strategies in training sessions that are are made to look good make to look pretty make to look like you know what they're doing but at the end of the day you're getting beasted by teams you're finishing second from bottom you're not picking up the points you're you're, you're scoring two goals and letting three goals in you're scoring goals and then letting more goals in. That's it. This is, this is, that's like semi-top level football. And the board will not put up with that. And this is a lesson to every, every supporter in India and all the Corella Blasters that just because you fire your coach every year doesn't mean it's the, the wrong decision because you're not winning. Chelsea fire people all the time and they normally do at least very well. So, 
It's nothing to do with that. The coach is the be all and end all of the majority of reasons why teams they do badly. Uh, just because they have the power to pick whoever they want, they have the style to pick whoever they want. And if, if the strikers aren't scoring the goals, it may be to do with the training that they do. Basically, I saw, I saw a lot of midfielders that couldn't pass to strikers in a lot of Corella Blaster games. And that was very worrying from the time being. And when you see that, you see you have coaches like, um, not saying that I'm better than him, obviously, but I'm just saying you have coaches that worry about different things. Like, I like to tweak when I coach. So basically, if I see something, I'll get straight on the, 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 the training session. Like, if I see that, um, like, so for instance, if I see like KP Raul, and I think KP Raul is amazing. If I see one of your midfielders get into a position where they could pass, and they're always choosing to shoot or choosing to do something else. And it's, for me, the wrong decision because I want to get near the goal and I want to be able to have a shot on target or, or something. And I would literally go to the next training session and I wouldn't work on passing style and, 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 and passing into space. I would work on being able to, for one player to connect to another player in order to get opportunity off so we can score goals. And I would work on that if I saw it and if we were getting counter-attacked I would work on my defensive midfielder working with my um, defenders I, you know little things like this it's more working on what players do in different situations and I think that because the, the, there's not much of a difference in the I league teams I don't think so I think that the coaches at this level matter even more than in the Premier League to be honest with you um, obviously like Maybe that sounds a bit crazy, but probably is crazy. But unless you're like, um, because like you have Ancelotti and stuff like that for Everton and stuff. So he is a good coach, but what can he do when Man City bring all those sick players in? Do you know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm explaining. So the coaches matter because um, the player difference between Blasters and like the teams up the top in the ISL it's not like worlds different. They are better at the top, but they're not much better. Okay, my name is Coach Technique. I think it's the right decision, by the way, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye.